17th June 1911, the railway station in Tirunelveli. The day was just about to break. A train was ready to start to Kodai Canal. A very important person with his wife boarded the first class compartment. Robert William Ashe and wife Mary. Ashe was Tirunelveli's powerful district collector known for his extreme hostility to Indian nationalists. Three young men too boarded the train in the third class compartment. They were Vanchinath Ayer from Chenkote and his two friends. The train reached Maniachi in Tutukudi by 9.30 am. Vanchinath Ayer came out from his compartment and entered the first class. In a flash, he drew out a pistol and shot Ashe on his forehead point blank. Job done, Vanchi jumped out of the train and ran to the toilet on the platform. Soon, a gunshot was heard from the toilet. 25-year-old revolutionary embraced death than being held by the British police. The Bengal partition of 1905 had led to an explosion of militant activities by revolutionary nationalists under Anushiran Samiti and Jugandar in Bengal. Far away in deep south it had a resonance. A bunch of Tamil youths were inspired by the Bengali revolutionaries. They were also admirers of the militant nationalist trio Lal, Bal and Pal. Prominent among them were Subramanya Bharati, Subramanya Shiva, Viyo Chidambaram Pillai, and Vanchinathan's mentor, Nilakanta Brahmachari, VVS Iyer, and so on. Like the revolutionaries of Bengal of the age, a section of these Tamil firebrands later embraced Marxism, while another section went the Hindu religious path. 